Why, hello, lovely humans. Jen Fox back here. I wanted to show you a demo of the spectrometer that I made with the Hacking STEM team in collaboration for our partnership with NASA. Yay! So the goal was to teach folks uh, about electromagnetic radiation, a lot of which is invisible. So how do you measure and or teach about something that is invisible? Um, and my other goal was to, you know, talk about when is electromagnetic radiation potentially dangerous and damaging for the human body and when is it totes fine? And so this way, uh, we are able to use LEDs as inputs, which is super cool. So basically when you shine a light on an LED, it induces a voltage across the pins, and if you have a multimeter, you can actually measure that with your multimeter, or you can hook it up to an Arduino Uno or another microcontroller and read the voltage across the pins, and then use that to figure out um, how uh, the like you can kind of backtrack and get some information about your light source. So to show that there are different wavelengths and different types of light. We have different LEDs here. We have an IR or infrared on the left, then red, green, blue. Those are the visible ones. And UV on the far right. Of all of these, uh, IR and UV or ultraviolet are the invisible parts of the electromagnetic spectrum. Um, and UV can potentially be damaging to the human body. That's why, or that's the type of light that causes um, sunburns. And so this is a really cool build to explore what lights have UV in them and what lights don't. So you can see the data is live right here. Um, and you don't see much of anything happening right now, but check this out. I have a, fan a handy dandy fancy UV flashlight and when I shine it on my lights, <gasps> look at that. So you probably noticed that the green and the blue jumped up a lot. The bar, uh, the colored bar is the average reading of the voltage across the pens, and the white line is the instantaneous reading, or the reading at a specific moment in time. Um, and the blue is responding because um, there's some blue light in this, otherwise we wouldn't see any light whatsoever. And the UV does respond a decent amount. Um, so a lot more than just in room lights. So this is a super cool way to figure out if you need, if and when uh, you need to wear a sunscreen. So for example, you could use this build to test if you need to wear a sunscreen while you're driving in the car, um, assuming the windows are up. So what do you think? Do you need to wear sunscreen in the car to prevent sunburns from UV light? <gasps> Build this and find out. Dun, dun, dun. And of course, please let us know if you have any questions. Uh, you can visit the Build uh, website and get some free curriculum and instructions and all of the code and all that good stuff. And uh, this super rad Excel spreadsheet made by our Excel wizards at the Hacking STEM team. So the link for that is aka.ms slash hacking stem. Thanks very much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye!